Welcome to part two of the third tutorial on using images. So last tutorial, I copied an image and I copied the link of an image to use in my blog. So I'm gonna go to my blog and you should be familiar with this logging in part. So I'm gonna go through the login process. Of course, for you, remember, you have to go to your page before you log in by clicking on your name. All right, so let's go over here. I gotta change my name to my email address. Doo, 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 doo. And then password. Sorry, don't want you to see that. All right, so I'm going to go to articles, which this was part of tutorial number one on the iPad, opens up that window. Let's say I already started the article. I'm going to go to my biome one that I had here from last time. And here's how you insert an image. There's a little bit of code that goes with this. Basically, wherever I want the image to go, that's where I'm going to put the cursor. Here's the code you need to place an image. First, we're gonna open up this angle bracket. It's like a greater than sign. Then I'm gonna type IMG, which is short for image, space. That space is important. SRC is important because it's the source. It's short for source telling you where the image is. Now, I don't want it to be arc, so I'm gonna X that out. And then I'm gonna go the source equals now this part's important. You're gonna open quotes because in, in programming, you put things between quotes that um, tell you something about a location in this instance. And the location is that Geograph United Kingdom uh, website with the picture of that partly eaten salmon. Now I open the quotes, so I have to close the quotes. Another thing I open that I have to close is that angle bracket. You got to do the less than sign. But first I'm going to do something before that. I want to make sure the picture is not too big on my blog and throws everything out of whack. So I'm going to choose a width that I know is going to fit nicely. So I got to do width. That's reasonable. Now I'm going to put equals. Now after the equals comes what? Quotation. So I'm going to put quote. Now a good size for our blogs, uh, 500 pixels is about as wide as you want to go. Anything over 500 may be okay, but let's not risk it. Let's go with 500 and I open the quote so I have to close it and then I'm going to close this angle bracket and that's it. You now have a picture on your blog and I'm going to save it just in case anything happens. I haven't published it yet because I'm not quite done. I want to put a caption under the picture. So when you've got your code there, hit return and then type a description of the picture and provide a link back to the site. And we'll do link on the next tutorial.